Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Sagittarius, I'm going to be doing a two-part reading. The first part will be about the ex, what's going on with them, how is their relationship going, are they in a relationship? The second part will be all about the future love and who's coming towards you. So if you're interested in just the future energy, you can skip over the ex bit. All right, let's get started. Sagittarius, I'm going to pull a card and this will signify the energy around who you're considering to be your ex. Of course, the energies can be reversed, so keep that in mind. And if you're cross-watching, this may resonate as a Sagittarian ex. Let's take a look. The energy around Sagittarian ex. The person who Sagittarius is considering to be their ex in April and May 2020. What is the energy around the ex? of Sagittarius. Transformation, we have the card of Pele, the Hawaiian volcano goddess. And let's get one from the soul journey for Sagittarius. What is the energy around this X of Sagittarius? Change, yeah. So this person is going through some kind of um, transformation in their life I get very much a uh, feeling here of something that has been long simmering something that they have not dealt with there may have been fear associated with the change there may have been postponement or delay of the change but it seems to me that this is there's this kind of eruption around this meaning that they this tower moment is going to happen for them and it brings change into their life let's see and what is the focus for this x of sagittarius what is the focus for this x and we have the knight so sagittarius the knight energy when we look at that one it is a feeling here of uh, instinctive protection very much a feeling here of kind of like a if you think of it as like the knight in shining armor so the energy here is the moon and pluto pluto again signifies transformation but there's immense power in this transformation while the more easygoing or kinder gentler energy of the moon is more nurturing or protective but when these two planets combine in the water sign of cancer in this particular card they denote an enormous protective power it's kind of like a mother protecting her young the great power of pluto giving strength to more of that gentle emotional moon and it's a very nice card so the energy around this is of taking up uh, defense of someone who maybe is uh, less able to care for themselves there's an energy here of deeply caring about people or ideals that are close to the heart it's very heroic energy it's kind of like that that heroic someone who wanting to to kind of rush in and be that knight in shining armor so interesting energy let's see where this goes Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck we've got the Queen of Pentacles I feel that's you you know the thing that I'm getting around you is that uh, you, you don't actually need saving Sagittarius so this person might be a little bit um, they may have a wrong idea about you or something like that I, I get that you are very able to take care of yourself but for some reason this this person may, may consider you uh, as someone who needs saving but the energy could be reversed of course let's take a look we have the king of cups in the reverse and the high priestess in reverse okay yeah you know I, I don't think this person really gets it they think they get it but they don't intuitively speaking they, they are not really understanding the messages that they're receiving 
there's a feeling around this person of wanting to be this kind of knight in shining armor wanting to be someone who is a very secure emotionally speaking um, i get a sense here of uh, maturity as well but right now it doesn't seem like they're in touch with that side of themselves there's more a uh, detachment i get being detached from their emotions and also detached from their intuition We've got the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yes, yeah, so there's a real need here, Sagittarius. This X of yours, for some reason it seems to me that there's this kind of immaturity around them. I get that there's a lot of immaturity. They may be uh, texting you, emailing you, um, talking to you on the phone, wherever they are. But the thing is, Emotionally speaking, they're confused. I think that they may want to come into you, offer you something, but I'm not even sure they know what that is, to be honest. Let's have a look. We've got the Empress in reverse and the Two of Swords. So this ex of yours, Sagittarius, I feel has been involved with someone Who needed that care I think that they were involved in a previous relationship or that they after they left you they may have gotten involved with someone who was like that who needed that care but the thing is you don't need that now this ex of yours in the near future with this two of swords Again, I, I get that there is a lack of uh, understanding, a lack of, a lack of listening to, to their gut feeling. There's no real insight around this person. Let's see where this goes. I've got them here as the King of Swords in the reverse. They, went, they can't seem to make up their mind. They, they, uh, they lack the ability to make a, a reasoned decision. There's something going on with them, emotionally speaking, and I feel I feel their energy is very much someone who is very immature. But this could be someone who is much older than what they uh, what they're acting here. They're, they're certainly not someone who can be trusted to tell you the truth because I don't think that they really know what they're doing here the nine of wands you know i see that as you i feel that you're going to have your guard up around this person it's an ex i feel like they're, they're reaching out to you in some way but uh, you don't trust them you don't trust them i think that they may have someone else around them you're aware of that you don't trust that they know what they want or who they want We've got the, the devil here as hopes and fears. Yeah, th this person brings a, a lot of uh, toxicity with them. You may, you may know that they're unstable emotionally. There's some kind of uh, energy around this person of, um, I get an addictive kind of nature to, to this person. So that it's very spontaneous. I get spontaneous energy, but, but they're not someone who backs it up with logic or reason. And we've got the, uh, the, the moon in reverse. Yeah, th this ex of yours, I, I think that they, they're going through some kind of uh, trying time. Yeah, uh, there's a feeling here of, of uh, it's, it's almost like they're, it's, it's kind of a little bit like they they may even be reaching out to you for assistance or you, you may want to help them, but it really should be the other way around. It, it's, kind, it's kind of weird energy that I'm picking up around this person. A lot of instability. There's a lot of things that are hidden around this person. 
some of it you know some of it you don't emotionally speaking this person is very um, they're, they're likely to be someone who is doing something in order to cope with some kind of underlying issue I'm picking up some addictive nature around this person but in the future I see the, their energy here is still disconnected from the intuition so this person it doesn't act for their highest good they just kind of do things in the moment very playful immature energy they may have had some kind of issue around someone who has disappointed them or let them down a lack of a uh, a lack of nurturing or a lack of, of a lack of something around a uh, some kind of female figure in their life who they feel disappointed by yeah and with this card of change and transformation there ha the thing is there has to be growth there has to be change there has to be movement and the thing is it doesn't seem like there is movement with this person That's what I'm sensing. There doesn't seem to be any movement here. There's potential for change to happen with this ex of yours, Sagittarius. But I get an avoidance, wanting, uh, avoiding the issues, avoiding the problems, the underlying issues that are creating this kind of emotional turmoil here around this particular person and their inability to follow through on uh, promises or being able to trust what they say with that knight of cups in reverse knight and king of swords in reverse yeah i just see you as being very guarded very protective of your energy uh, still with this person until you see transformation or change sagittarius okay so let's take a look at uh, who's coming towards you Sagittarius, let's take a look and see what we've got coming towards you in April and May. Let's get some oracles. What does Sagittarius need to know about the person coming towards them in April and May 2020? We have fire. Could be a fire sign, of course. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very passionate energy around that. Let's see what the focus of this relationship will be. What is the focus of this relationship coming towards Sagittarius in April and May, Spirit Guides? We've got increase. So it seems to be something that's uh, that's good coming in. So where there was a feeling of lack or loss, that's going to turn around. Let's have a look at the potential. The potential for this new relationship that's coming in towards Sagittarius in April and May please spirit guides we've got make the effort and let's get one from the house of night potential for this new relationship future potential please for this new relationship that's coming in for Sagittarius in April and May we have belonging okay so it seems like there's a sense here of belonging very much a soulmate energy and great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take so the card of increase let's talk about uh, let's talk about increase because i like that for you sagittarius so where there has been a cycle of a downturn this is a cycle of expanding energy you'll see this road is leading to this uh, beautiful estate in the background so it heralds a great time of growth increasing the size of uh, things around you you know it could be your uh, wealth business the, perhaps you're thinking of buying real estate starting a building project making investments if any of these things are on your mind now's the time to investigate options and to take action so this wonderful time of increase could be a sudden windfall of, of course like something paying off for you 
but I instead I feel it's more about some something that's taken work on your behalf I feel like after great effort comes reward so where there has been planning energy and attention focused on expanding a project or your life uh, where you have laid the groundwork and made plans I get that uh, it's moving in a very beneficial direction so this is something that's going to pay off fire energy again I'm mainly just picking that up as uh, possibly the nature of around this other person that's coming towards you it's very powerful focused intense energy the uh, the fire energy burns brightly it moves quickly there's passion there's drive there's desire to create and uh, of course along with that comes anger as well uh, fire both destroys and purifies but uh, it's very much a part of the the process of bringing quality of fire to any kind of situation so fire fire energy around this person so I, I do get a feeling like yes they're going to have uh, a lot of uh, intensity but they're also going to have uh, some anger associated with that as well so I need to watch for that but let's have a look uh, Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck I've got the world card you're completing out an old cycle I get you moving towards a more peaceful time in your life I think that this is something that is related to uh, some past energy you may know this person there's a feeling here of uh, them coming in towards you there's going to be balance but with the, this wand energy or fire energy it's definitely a new start a new beginning let's take a look we've got the you here the queen of pentacles let's see what does Sagittarius need to know about this person coming in towards them and the eight of cups okay this person has left I feel that they've left behind another partner actually so that's a, that's another thing to look out for I feel that they have been involved with this Queen of Pentacles but because she's in reverse here could be male or female I get them leaving that person behind so it seems like this person is, is coming from a, another partnership let's see what does Sagittarius need to know about this person that is coming towards them four of swords <coughs> I hope Sagittarius that this person has given themselves sufficient time to heal from this this uh, other partnership that I feel that they're leaving behind we have the eight of swords and the ace of cups yeah okay all right so what I'm getting around this is that this is something that has been delayed I get it as delayed while they they sort through and heal their, this previous relationship so they are doing that so I was a little bit worried there that this person might be just coming directly from this other relationship towards you but I actually don't feel that with the four of swords and the eight of swords I feel like this individual is taking the time to get to know themselves and look at what they they really want with that ace of cups what is going to provide them with that emotional sense of fulfillment or contentment in life yeah okay let's have a look what else does Sagittarius need to know about this person coming towards them what else does Sagittarius need to know okay we've got the two of Pentacles again I get this element around this person of deciding okay let's get one more what else does Sagittarius need to know about this person and we also have the Queen of Cups Page of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands yeah this person is, is ending something a long-term partnership but they also have another option I feel this Queen of Cups 
Yeah. But they they're starting to think. I think that they're 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 involved in some way with this Queen of Cups. Yeah. So this is a transitional energy. I feel like they're they they've come out of another relationship. They've come directly into something else, but not with you, Sagittarius. I feel it's with this Queen of Cups. They're still juggling this person. Although there is a lot of difficulty with that Page of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands. It's starting to become a lot of stress involved with this, a lot of burden. And so that's that's the problem. This individual is healing something within themselves, but they're involved in a relationship at the moment that I feel it's toxic. I feel I feel it's very negative for them. But I don't get them being able to come towards you just yet. Uh, this is April and May, so I don't feel that this person is coming in in April and May. I think they're still dealing with this other situation that they're finding a burden, but they're still trying, they're, they're, they're still in it. Very much an energy of this person still dealing with that. I feel it's a transitional relationship. Okay, let's take a look at the nature of this relationship coming towards you in the future. What is the nature of this relationship? We've got the Empress. What is the nature of this relationship? And the King of Pentacles. What is the nature of this relationship? The Star. What is the nature of this relationship that's coming towards Sagittarius? The Tower. What is the nature of this the Wheel of Fortune. What is the nature of this relationship that's coming towards Sagittarius? Spirit Guides. Where did that one jump out? Let's see somewhere. Here it is. Nine of Pentacles. And one more. The nature of this relationship. Ooh, I'm going to take all of those. Let's see. We have, we have. We've got the Hanged Man. We've got the Six of Wands and the High Priest. Yeah, <clears throat> what I'm getting here is this person's going to be single for a while, I feel. Uh, I don't think that, well, the thing is they're getting involved with this other person, but during that time I get a sense that they are going to, it, they're going to get some kind of perspective. I get perspective. And they're going to see, they're going to have a change of mind. I feel like they've gotten involved with this person. They, they feel like that's, that's what they want. But being involved with this person changes their mind in some way. Now, we have this card of increase. I've got you here, Empress, and uh, this other person as the, the King of Pentacles. So there is an energy of this, of, of, of growth. There is a feeling here of uh, potential growth. A lot of prosperity, abundance, bringing a lot of uh, value. I get value to each other. And that's this tower moment, this epiphany of the value. So it's kind of like being this individual going and being with uh, with somebody else here gives uh, perspective and s allows them to see your value or what what they value that kind of energy this individual is not on the same page they may be younger there, there may be some immaturity around that person so yes uh, there is uh, after this uh, this tower moment this this breakthrough this epiphany that this person has i feel that there will be change movement transformation towards you sagittarius at some point in the future but it's only after uh, them gaining more perspective about what's uh, what's important to them and what to uh, is going to make them feel successful because it, it seems to me that this situation rather than add value this takes away value in some way it's something that they thought they wanted though i feel that they got out of a, another relationship went towards this other person here but then soon discovered 
that it was actually quite uh, burdensome and now they seem kind of stuck there but I, I feel like th there is going to be a breakthrough around this person they're going to gain an understanding of your value and that's uh, that's when there is going to be positive movement now let's take a look at the potential for this in the future potential of this relationship in the future for Sagittarius we've got the three of pentacles now again that's about recognition and worth understanding each other's worth and the ace of pentacles well that's it again it's about prosperity uh, having something grow i feel that this this transitional energy here is something that this person although it, it's they were attracted to it initially they they realize that it's actually not going anywhere and that's the problem for this person i feel that they need to in the future focus more on the long-term energy what's going to pay off and and to refocus on that so there's an energy here of um gaining a greater understanding of what's important long term and making the effort again i get this energy with the three of pentacles of making the effort understanding that it's worth the effort and this person might have taken an easy road here perhaps your road was the harder road but they realize that if they truly want something that's worthwhile in their life they have to make the effort put the effort in let's see potential for this future relationship for Sagittarius we have the two of swords in reverse so where there has been conflict indecision we've got the magician and the four of wands I see this person coming to an understanding taking that blindfold off seeing the truth making a tough choice making the hard decision doing the hard thing and putting in the effort towards something in the future I think that's been the problem that this individual hasn't seen hasn't seen the, the way forward with you in some capacity but I, I get that that will change after they've experienced this other situation that has left them feeling burdened now I do think that with the magician and the four of wands that there's going to this is going to lead to stability in the future uh, could also be a marriage for some of you what is this future relationship potential we've got the fool we've got temperance and the death card wow a lot of major arcana there so yeah i see that there's going to be uh, there's always risk involved of course with starting something new but i see you both making the effort towards this i get this as uh, going through the the the, the death of, of the an old cycle here and moving towards something brand new with the temperance card as your card there sagittarius right in the center it's all about the mixing of ingredients here to create one to create something new and, and, and again with that three of pentacles and the empress card here again i get growth this is this is evolve something that will lead to growth i think this individual knows that whatever they're in currently this transitional energy is not going to lead to their growth and that's the problem this person is looking long term at their growth they don't want to leave something behind and then go straight into something else that isn't really going anywhere i mean what was the point of leaving that behind in the first place so i think that person realizes that that why did i leave something behind if it's not going to if i'm not going to grow if i'm just going to go from one thing to another that's pretty much the same what's the point of that so they're, they're thinking to themselves if i want growth in my life true growth i'm going to have to to actually make the effort put the effort in it's going to take work this relationship for you two to get together i feel like it's going to take work but this person will be willing to put that effort in is what i'm getting from spirit yeah so major changes around this individual yeah it's it's very interesting energy for some reason i get that night energy 
it may be that this individual feels like they need to rush in and help this other, this transitional person. Maybe they see you as too independent or to not really needing them. But in the end, I see them coming around and saying, you know what, I'm better off with someone who is able to take care of themselves long term than trying to be someone's caretaker or some, something like that. It, it's very odd energy. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got from the Hedgewitch Botanical for Sagittarius. Yeah, I, I see them. I see them coming around here, knowing where they belong and, and making making the effort. And uh, I feel like there's going to be movement here, some point in the future. But you know, the thing is, they're still in this other situation at the moment in April and May. Message for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to hear, Spirit Guides? We have soothe chamomile. Okay. Let's take a look, because we all know that chamomile is, has a calming effect. So the oracle property of Soothe reminds us to care for ourselves and others, especially in times of stress or difficulty. So no matter what problem or decision that you're facing, a calm and thoughtful mind will always help you move forward in the best way. This property may also indicate that now is not the most prudent time for confrontation or a, uh, any kind of conflict. Sometimes, well, I'm getting it as diplomacy you know, and calm energy. I think that's, that's the thing. That's what this person's going to appreciate in, in you is, is your calm, diplomatic approach. Especially because it seems like they're going through some kind of stress. You know, uh, the thing is, I do get this individual is, is dealing with some kind of a traumatic ending in their life. So going through this major transformation, maybe feels a little, bit, uh, a little bit at sea, a little bit lost. They've gotten involved with something here that I feel that uh, they're, they're not happy about. And, uh, and they may be turning to you in order to soothe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But what they're going to do here is do that towards this other person. But rather than soothe, I feel that that's going to turn out to be just very disappointing and burdensome. Yeah, and then I feel like after that they'll be turning towards you. But this time with greater perspective and greater understanding. So nothing too bad there, Sagittarius. It's just, a, just an understanding that this person is going through a major change in their life. They've turned to someone else for comfort, I feel. It's not working out. I feel that the, the energy is going to turn back towards you, Sagittarius, where they're also going to need this soothing energy. But what, what you're going to do here is uh, be the calm around them, not creating chaos or, or, or uh, negative energy. I think that this situation that they went towards, that they thought was going to calm them, is actually created. It's the opposite thing. So you're, you're not going to be that. You're going to be completely the opposite. I, I get very stable, very nurturing, uh, capable energy. This person doesn't need to baby you. That's the thing. You're more of the night energy here, needing to perhaps soothe them. But again, I don't think you'll have to do it for, for long. I think that it's just during this transitional time, this, this change in their life while they're going through this transformation. Then I see them being able to, uh, to be your equal, Sagittarius, in, in, the, in the long run. So I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and share. And if you're a newcomer, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Sagittarius, I'll speak to you again very soon. Thanks again. Take care. Bye for now.